Hello everyone. Today we are going to see that how to create M language function in Power BI and how to invoke a custom function created in M language in Power BI. And um, in subsequent tutorial, we are going to show some use cases that how to call some machine learning API uh, by using this M language function directly inside the Power BI. So if you are interested to learn some powerful features in Power BI, then this tutorial is for you. Okay, let's uh, start our tutorial. Uh, here I have downloaded some comments from the uh, Microsoft's Power BI uh, official's YouTube channel. So here is the CSV file that I have created. Inside this file I have basically seven uh, top comments or seven comments you can say. Uh, and uh, some are in English but some has been I have changed the language of some comments uh, into some different languages like French and Sway Samson some other languages so uh, the reason is that in subsequent tutorials I am going to show that how to detect the language of uh, the text by using cognitive services and how to translate this into English and how to find the sentiment the score. So keep watching our channel and uh, see that how it works. Okay, so uh, in this tutorial, basically I am just uh, going to import uh, these seven comments and will create a function in M language to count the words inside each of the comments, okay? simply load this I have loaded the data so it is here okay now to create the function go to the edit queries okay uh, click on the edit queries it will it will bring us to the power query editor okay so the M language is basically a power query related so you can go to the microsoft's official website to see the m m language references this is basically for the power query and this is applicable both in excel and in power bi and anywhere uh, in the office 365 where power query m language is supported so to get more information, you can go to this official website of the Microsoft to get an idea of on um, how this is uh, organized and and what are the syntax and how many functions and how they work. Okay. Uh, now uh, here I am uh, just going to create a new function. Okay. To create a new function, you can simply create a blank query and once blank query is created see now you have to go to the advanced editor uh, here one important thing uh, in in the old versions of power bi if you if we go to this editor there was a uh, very plain text box and we have to write everything uh, manually no help no intelligence okay but in the current version IntelliSense is available so this is a very uh, powerful feature it will help and it will expedite the uh, scripting time okay to enable this we have to go back to uh, let's remove this okay and go back to okay so come to file and options and settings go to options and go to preview features and here you will see m intelligence just enable it and you will be now able to see the intelligence feature okay create a blank query again and go to this see color uh, code is enabled okay now the idea is to count the 
words in the comments to do this simply we will type uh, create any variable input um, as text okay now here I write word count okay and here list dot count see it's helping uh, us that uh, what is the complete syntax of the function so you can simply enter and it will show the input parameters as well and this is all in the latest version of power bi it was not available in the old version so if you don't see this feature please update your power bi okay and here we will take the another function text dot split and inside this it will be the input and it should be splitted with all the spaces and the output will be generated inside the word count and here we will produce the word count so here is the variable name is available you can simply click on that so what is going on here we are using list.count function and uh, whatever is inside single raw will be coming inside the input so each comment will be coming from the input variable and input variable is a single sentence here we are splitting this single sentence by the spaces so let's say inside a single sentence is uh, sentence there are three words then it will be uh, split it into three words and it will become a list right so this function will count the the items inside the list and it will produce the output so we can see the output uh, in our table so when we create a custom function uh, it is not invoked anywhere this is just created to be used uh, let me rename word count okay now I have I want to invoke this on my imported data to do this select your table go to add column and inside the add column you can see invoke custom function option is available click on this so here uh, it's asking to provide the name for the new column and i can provide word count and which function I want to apply the function we recently created and here what input uh, we want to supply so from here we can select we can provide some literal values or fixed values but we want uh, to fit from a field so that's why we will select comments okay so the each raw from the YouTube comments table from the power bi uh, from the comments field will be fed to this word count function and it will generate the output against the each raw okay simply click on that and see this comment has one two three four five six seven eight nine nine words here is a nine respectively these are the word counts for each row so in this way we can create a custom function in power bi and invoke and uh, cite uh, imported data following us to see that what are some use cases of this custom function thank you for watching this video please like and subscribe our channel thank you very much